All right. You've filled out applications, you've been accepted to a handful of places, and you've applied for both scholarships and financial aid. The entire year has been building up to this very moment. It's time for you to make your college decision. Hi, I'm Haley, a student here at St. Norbert College. Deciding where to go to college can be one of the most stressful parts of your entire senior year. But I'm here to tell you, don't worry. The less you stress about it, the better off you'll be, I promise. Let's explore a few factors that go into actually making your decision. Students often ask, well, when should I make my college decision? And the answer to that question is simpler than you may have expected. You need to make your decision when you're ready. For some of you, that may be as early as fall of your senior year, while others of you may wait until financial aid season rolls around in early spring. While it's important for you to think over your decision, you'll probably want to have it made by May 1st of your senior year to secure a spot at your college and begin preparing for summer orientation, which could be held as early as June. Before you make your decision, you'll want to do a few things first. Number one, revisit the top two or three schools that are left on your list. Number two, consider the pros and cons for every school. What can each school offer you? Where do you feel most comfortable? Number three, figure out the full financial picture. Will you finish your degree in four years like here at St. Norbert? Or will it take you five or more years? What will it cost you in the end after you factor in both scholarships and financial aid? And lastly, talk it over with your family. They really are the ones who know you best, and it's important to talk over big decisions like this one together. As always, there are some decision-making pitfalls to avoid. Don't just go where your friends go. Remember that every school is different, just like every person is different. Your favorite school may not be the same as your best friend's, and it's okay not to go to the same place. Next, don't let the pressure get the best of you. While it's important to get others' input, you and you alone are going to be spending the next four years, or maybe more, at the school of your choice. So make sure to make the right decision for you. When I was in your shoes, I followed these same steps too. To help you out, here are a few reasons why I chose St. Norbert College. First, they had a four-year graduation guarantee, which is huge. They also offer me tons of study abroad opportunities, and the campus is filled with new state-of-the-art buildings. They have an abundant amount of service opportunities for me to volunteer in my community, and they offer the programs that I'm most interested in. But above all, St. Norbert gives me the opportunity to build great relationships with the faculty, staff, and my fellow classmates here on campus. In the end, you'll want to choose the college that offers you everything that you want and will make you feel most at home. I know that you'll be successful wherever you end up. Good luck.